Hi friends, welcome back. I hope you're doing awesome. I'm going to show you how I make my Kojic Acid Brightening um, Moisturizer. This is a lightweight moisturizer that you can use to um, target those dark areas on your skin that you want to lighten up. Um, please note that this is not a bleaching cream. This is just a brightening moisturizer that you can use every day to target those areas. Um, so I'm going to show you step by step um, how I make this moisturizer. So let's jump right in. And if this is your first time stopping by, my name is Esther and I make DIY hair and skincare videos and I also um, sell my products on my website I'll have that linked in the description box if you want to check that out so let's jump right in I'm going to get started weighing out my ingredients and I'll have the complete recipe um, in the description box and I also have um, links to where I purchase my ingredients from so my first ingredient is distilled water um, and to my distilled water I'm going to add in some vegetable glycerin the vegetable glycerin is going to be a humectant that's going to draw moisture to our skin so that's it for this um, water phase um, the water phase just has distilled water and vegetable glycerin so I'm going to weigh my jar because I'm going to be heating this up and some of that water is going to evaporate. So I'm just going to take note of the weight, write that down and I'm going to uh, set my jar aside. Now I'm going to work on the oil phase. So I'm starting out with sweet almond oil. This is rich in vitamin E and A. It's super moisturizing and it helps to improve the appearance of your skin as well. You can always switch it out for another oil of your choice. Um, next up is hemp seed oil. Hemp seed oil is also very lightweight. It's not going to clog your pores um, and it moisturizes dry skin and helps your skin retain moisture as well. Um, so to this, I'm going to add in my emulsifying wax. My emulsifying wax is Olivem 1000. There are many other choices of emulsifying waxes. Um, so I'm going to add that in. And after adding in my Olivem 1000, I'm going to add in my Kojic Acid Depalmitate, KAD. So this is derived from the regular Kojic Acid, but this is more stable um, when you uh, make your uh, skincare products. It's not going to discolor over time, um, but it's a great ingredient to help brighten up those dark areas on your skin. So now that the oil phase is ready, I'm just going to cover this up and set this aside. So I'm going to um, grab my um, water phase um, jar and I also have an extra jar that I um, add some distilled water to. So I'm going to heat up all three jars on low to medium heat um, until the emulsifying wax has melted and the kojic acid has dissolved. So this can take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. You want to check on the kojic acid, stir to make sure everything is well dissolved. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. So just take your time to do this anywhere from 10 minutes or so. Everything should be melted, everything should be dissolved and then we'll go to the next step. So the next thing I'm going to do is to replace any water that has been lost um, during the heating process. So I'm just going to use some of the distilled water that I had heated up um, during the heating phase to replace that water loss. And after doing that, I'm going to combine um, both jars together. I'm going to pour in the um, water phase ingredients to my oil phase ingredients. Um, so just add that in and then I'm going to use my um, stick blender. I'm going to use my stick blender to mix everything in for at least two minutes. Um, you want to mix and blend very well so that way you don't have separation um, of your moisturizer. Um, so this took about two minutes. Of course you want to be careful because this is really really hot. So I'm doing this for about two to three minutes. After mixing everything up 
it's going to be um, runny it's going to be um, a runny consistency it's eventually going to thicken up um, so I checked the temperature it was about 119 degrees Fahrenheit so still a little bit too hot for me to add my cool down ingredients so I'm just going to set this aside for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll add in my cool down ingredients so after about 10 minutes it had cooled down to below 100 degrees Fahrenheit so I was ready to add in my cool down ingredients um, cool down ingredients are ingredients that are sensitive to heat so things like your preservative um, antioxidants like your vitamin E extracts they're all sensitive to heat so you want to wait for your mixture to cool down before adding them in I'm going to be using some licorice extract this is going to soothe and brighten up your skin and I'm also going to add in some willow bark extract um, this is a natural salicylic acid substitute it's going to enhance your skin cell turnover and improve um, the skin appearance and I'm also going to be adding in my preservative I'm using Lewisidal complete I'll link my two preservative videos um, in the description box if you're looking for preservative options So after mixing this is what my consistency is looking like this is a super lightweight uh, moisturizer um, so I was going for a really light consistency um, but if you want a thicker moisturizer then just add some more emulsifying wax and you can also use um, a co-emulsifier or thickener like steric acid or cetyl alcohol um, but this is what I have so far um, so what I'm going to do next is to check the pH you always want to check the pH of any product that you're making um, so to do this I just put a small amount of product add in some distilled water and I'm just going to mix that really well and then I'm going to use my pH meter to take the reading this takes maybe a minute or so and the initial pH for this moisturizer was 6.93 um, so I wanted to bring down the pH and to do this I'm going to use some of my citric acid solution I'll have that video linked in the description box if you want to make yours and um, after adding in the citric acid I just um, mixed it for for a few seconds and then I set it aside and then I rechecked the pH a second time following the same process and the second time around the pH was at 4.58 which is perfect you want a pH range between 4.5 to 5.5 which is the pH of our skin and this is what the brightening kojic acid moisturizer is looking like once again this is a lightweight moisturizer this is how the consistency looks you can always make changes and make it your own and do what works best for you but so far this is what it's looking like and this made three ounces of product I'm going to go ahead and package this up and I'm going to show you how it applies on the skin I always get asked a lot of questions about shelf life shelf life really depends on the expiration date um, of your individual ingredients so for this moisturizer my shelf life is anywhere from 9 to 12 months um, but so far this is what I have I love this moisturizer you can use this every day but I make sure you're using sunscreen or SPF moisturizer after you use this um, because this can be a little bit um, sensitive to the Sun so you want to take adequate precautions and this is what it is i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe if you've not turn on your notifications so you don't miss any new videos that i upload and please like this video because that really helps me out and i'll see you in the next one bye